All right, in this lesson, we're going to cover how to get your MASH color node to render in Arnold correctly. Now, currently, I have a pretty simple MASH setup here, nothing too complicated. Um, and over here on the right, you'll see that I have a color node plugged into my MASH, um, my MASH network. And you can see how that color node is affecting uh, my object. However, when I render uh, in Arnold, go to Arnold and do a little render here, you'll see that it is not uh, using that color data to, um, it's still just using basically our, our material that we have on our original uh, MASH network here, or MASH object. So the problem is that our MASH color node is using vertex color data to color the, uh, the individual MASH objects. And we need to uh, plug that data into our material in order for us to see that in Arnold. So there's a couple things we need to do. Um, the first thing we need to do is to take note of this right here, color set name is color set with a capital S. Now you can name this anything you want, just so long as you remember what you've named it, uh, because we're going to have to plug in that somewhere else. Um, and the second thing I want to do here is go to my mash object here and look under the Arnold tab. And I want to make sure that I have export vertex colors enabled. Okay. And now the third thing we want to do is jump into the hypershade and uh, look at our material that we have plugged into our original mash object. And that's going to be, in this case, standard surface two. I'm going to graph that. And what I want to do is plug this, uh, plug an, a special node into my material here that's going to basically look at those vertex colors and um, and just plug them into whatever attribute that I want them plugged into. So uh, the node that I want to create here is called user color data or user AI uh, user data color. That's what we want. And um, all I need to do is plug this into wherever I want that color. And I need to change my attribute. Remember that name, color set with a capital S. Okay. And now if we do a render, we're going to see that color data. Now, again, we can plug this into any attribute that we want. So if we jump back into our hypershade, uh, say I want to make this material a translucent sort of crystallized type material. So I can go down to my transmission and bump up that transmission and I can plug this color into transmission color. And I want to, and you'll see that your, your base color gets sort of grayed out whenever we up our transmission weight all the way to one. Um, and then I can increase my scatter a bit to something like one or, uh, or maybe something around in the middle here. And we'll do a render. And now we'll get more of a crystallized type material. Now our user color data again is just going back to that original mash node color, vertex color. So I can go back to my mash color node here. Let me just stop that render and I can edit this color even more. So I can still use this uh, color node within mash to edit my color. So if I want to change the overall color to maybe something a little bit more red, It's really easy now to manipulate my colors. And that's how you use your mash color node within the Arnold renderer. I hope you like this lesson. If you want to see more or if you have something specific you want to know how to do uh, within Maya, please let me know and I will maybe make a video about it. Thank you.